Uh, hey everybody, just out here taking video. Um, I'm uh, at the uh, football stadium, track stadium. It's uh, sort of adjacent to the high school, Manzana High School, close by to where I live. And uh, just thought I'd come out here and uh, day two, shoot a couple of uh, minutes of some video or whatever. Um, so I was gonna just ride down there and take a couple shots of some of the things that are over there. Maybe somebody who's watching went to Manzano High School back in the day and this will have a few memories or whatever for them. But uh, I'm just out here riding on this Schwinn bicycle and uh, um, I'll catch you in a minute, I guess. I'm just now pulling into the uh, sort of entryway where kids get dropped off and everything. Dropped off my daughters here a lot when they went to high school over here. And uh, over there in the distance, there's the old band truck. That thing has been parked over there like in uh, non-running condition for as um, long as I can remember. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a neat old truck. I think it's like a C70 or something. It's kind of cool. I'd be tempted to have something like that and turn it into like a little RV kind of thing or something like that, like a stealth camping kind of situation. Here's the back of the Wilson Stadium. A lot of football games that I went to over there. Back in the day, I remember uh, one of my ex-girlfriends, uh, her sister had a friend that rolled a van down the stair, you know, down the bleachers and into the football field <laughs> one time over there that must have been quite a mess I don't know that's what I heard anyway I, I didn't see it but it's kind of goofy over here every once in a while when I'd pick up the kids I'd see them changing this light bulbs up here on this thing for the stadium the light rack there's a couple on every side or whatever oh there's the other one right there but man, it's funny seeing the guy climb up there on that thing. I'd, it's not, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so, anyway. This is like a really quick test. Look at this here. I don't know if you can see me. Oh, look, my head got cut off. <laughs> this is a test to see how stupid I am. I'm going to try and take some footage while riding my bike down this hill over here. Make sure I get my hand on the good brake. skateboarding <laughs> all right I'm gonna have to put the phone down here for a second all right how far can he make it well, how stupid can he be pretty stupid I guess I guess I feel like it's better to get off a walk here <laughs> all right yeah okay mission aborted I guess I'll just take a little bit of footage right here of this uh, auxiliary football field. It's got a track that runs around it that's like rubberized. It's really cool to run on. This is the back of the library, I think. No, the music hall, excuse me. Down over there is the main courtyard. And over here is some other stuff. Pretty, pretty. Oh, oh. That's one mean monarch. He's an angry lion. You've heard of the cowardly lion. There's the angerly lion. And there it is. We've arrived. Monzano Monarchs. <laughs> With the rest he is. Over here yonder is a place where they tore out a lot of stuff. It just goes down into like oblivion now. I think that used to like end up in a, in a building and they like just kind of totally redid the whole thing. I think I'll walk down there and take a look. Oh, pretty beautiful. Look at this beautiful girl. Huh? What are you doing over there, huh? Oh. You okay? Probably just doing what I'm doing over here, huh? Checking stuff out. 
You're beautiful. I've seen a lot of you, you birds before, but you're a beautiful one. Evidently, it's a lot of fun to like throw rocks on the top of the roof up here. <laughs> Pieces of concrete bits or whatever. That place over there in the distance is the new Manzana High School gym. That thing is like a state-of-the-art facility that they built over here. I'm glad that my kids got to actually use it. I know when it was under construction for the longest time, I kept thinking that they weren't going to be able to even use it. But they did like a, they got like a couple gymnasium type of things in there and a weight room and um, basketball, you know, just everything. But it was pretty neat. I think I'm scaring off my little friend over there. Sorry about that, baby. Anyway, um, this here is a 1977 Schwinn Varsity with green handlebar tape. <laughs> uh, everything on this bike is pretty much original. It's kind of funny, I turned it the wrong way. I was gonna shoot it. Some photographer I am. That seat is not original and that weird sissy pad on the bar there is not original, but everything else is pretty much original equipment on there. And I have the original seat, which is like sitting down on a rock or something. It's, it's not very comfortable. So that's why I took that off. I promised the guy that I bought this from that I would kind of keep it pure and everything. It's a Chicago Schwinn. The reflectors and serial numbers and made in Chicago and the whole bit. So it's a pretty neat bike. I just, I don't know. I, I rode bikes for many, many years and I was talking to the guy about it who is a really cool dude and he's like, I'll sell you this bike for 30 bucks. You want to see it? And I was like, yeah, I guess. And I had already given him like 20 bucks that I didn't have to spend for some estate pipes, which were really cool because one was a Savinelli, which is an Italian pipe and it cleaned up really, really nice. And the other one's cleaning up real nice too but anyway it's a pretty good deal it's a good rider the first i rode it with that old ass seat on there and i just wanted to get rid of it and then this is like the second time that i'm bringing it out and uh, i did a little bit of stuff on it but mostly the guy is like really mechanically inclined and he did this stuff but i think i gotta adjust the brakes a little bit more because they're soggier than i like it's got original gum wall tires on it like the real old gum wall tires that are not like as cheap or whatever. Anyway, that's there she is. I thought this was super interesting. It's gonna be hard to make out. Maybe I'm hopefully you can see it. I'm pretty sure you can. But it's this counseling counseling right above the makes you wonder was that electrical box always there <laughs> probably not <laughs> Durr. But it's kind of funny that's I don't know I think it's just the way you know like maybe somebody will see that I went here or something I think I remember a time where it did say that I had a girlfriend that went here. I used to pick her up every day. I had an old T-top Camaro and it was a piece of crap, <laughs> but it had T-tops. And uh, I think that the girls really liked it on account of that. <laughs> Look, there's some lockers. I don't know if it was like this for you, but for me, when I graduated into going to high school from junior high well I, you know it was junior high too but I don't know what I'm talking about but what I'm trying to say is like how exciting was it the first time you knew you were gonna get a locker because you saw kids on TV go into their lockers and put in their stuff pictures of their girlfriends and stuff or you know girls that they wish they were their girlfriends <laughs> on the door here, you know what I mean? 
and the little shelves that you used to have inside, and the books. I broke into these when I was a kid. Not these, but lockers, you know. Remember those movies where kids used to run their heads into the... Was that on... What was that show? Um, one with Goldie Hawn where the guy runs into the locker. I don't know. It's a really good movie and now I'm stupid because I can't pick it up. I shut the locker and did the right thing there. Look at those ones are open. <laughs> Look at this place. It's the health office. Only if you go there if you want to be the nurse. That one has a name on it. <laughs> Activities. I gotta tell you, I brought the kids to school a bunch of times and gone through that hallway and I never really seen much activities going on, but maybe that's just me. Just stuck my head in there and there's like a shadow painted on the wall it scared the shit out of me okay i don't know if you can make it out over there see <laughs> not this one on the side but the one over there in the distance is the one that scared me <laughs> but no it wasn't me scaring myself of my own reflection even though that's i understand why you would think that i'm gonna get another look in there huh Let's see Ooh, the staircase beyond the doorway. That looks like a totally cool thing to come and like, I don't know. I don't do that anymore, but like if I did, I would probably climb up there and smoke a joint or something. <laughs> You've always got to be mindful that you're being watched. Well, that pretty much sums up the trip to the school here. How's my hat? Make sure it's straight. That pretty much sums up the little field trip that I took over here. Been out here for maybe like 15 or 20 minutes or something like that, walking around with the birds. I love pigeons. If you don't like pigeons, then whatever, dude, you know? Then don't subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I'll probably be taking some videos of pigeons, but <laughs> just to piss you off, but I just have respect for everything that lives, you know, um, in the last few years, especially. I always have, uh, you know, one point in my life, I was collect collecting guns and talking about going hunting and stuff, and I've never been hunting. I, I'm not like a, a hunting guy or a man's man or whatever you think that uh, you need to be to fit that kind of uh, label or whatever. I'm just a, I, I'm an actual man, you know, I, I'm kind and I'm caring to everything around me as much as I can possibly be. You know, if somebody wants to pick a fight with me or something like that, then we'll do it or whatever. But I'm not trying to start fights with people. I'm not doing anything. You know what I mean? And I don't eat animals anymore. That's another thing. That, uh, how do you know a vegan? They'll tell you, <laughs> right? Well, I guess that's me. I kind of fit that label. But uh, anyway, uh, as this channel starts to progress, I'm hoping to put together some kind of like videos about things that I cook on a regular basis that are, you know, I don't know, they're kind of ghetto food or whatever. But I'm sort of a, like a minimalist, believe it or not. Uh, on one end, I'm kind of a pack rat. But I, when it comes to like surviving, I don't really need a lot. I collect a lot of stuff, so... That's the other thing is like, I'm going to start getting rid of some of the things that I collect because I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be a pack rat. I don't want to be tied down to things. I just want to have a few select things like maybe a bicycle like this one. I'm going to buy me a bus, like a short, a beep beep bus. It's like the 
they used to call them. I don't know, because it pulls up in front of your house and beep, beep. I'm going to buy me one of those and turn it into like a, a recreational kind of vehicle. And then once my kids are kind of gone, I'm going to, you know, not gone, but doing their own thing and living their own life. I'm going to live my own life again. I was, it's a long ass story, but I was married for a lot of years, like together basically with the same person for like 20 years on and off who had my kids and my kid's mom and I care about very deeply but I feel like you know just after everything in my life that's happened I kind of deserve to do my own shit for a while you know so hopefully this channel turns into just like a variety show or whatever for anybody who will watch it or maybe it's just to catalog it for my kids I don't care what it turns into um, you know me fixing up a bus maybe traveling a little bit across the country um, you know whatever seeing some of this stuff Route 66 you know traveling out back east and visiting some relatives that live there traveling north and west and relatives that live there. I have relatives all over the country, really. And I, you know, some that I've never even met. And I'd like to, anyway, blah, blah. I'm making a long story even longer. <laughs> but I'm signing out from Manzano High School and um, this will probably um, be going up here pretty soon. I'm hoping to keep this as a regular thing. If you like what you're seeing, um, subscribe maybe to the videos I'm not gonna poach too hard like people do I'm not trying to make a whole bunch of money but in if I did make a little bit of money in the future off of this I would just like put it towards like maybe building a bus or doing some cool stuff or maybe printing out like vegan pamphlets to like leave in places like this as I go along you know maybe like you know hope that's all right with you if you if you're not a vegan, maybe you'll, you'll at least consider, like, uh, taking some steps to, like, uh, cut back in a way. I, I was against saying that for, like, a while there. I've been, like, vegan for a year and a half, and at first I was, like, hardcore. Like, everybody needs to do this now that I've seen the light. <laughs> but it's kind of just better some what to say, you know, if people just start to take steps and at least consider it. When you start to take a, a look, you probably just want to go vegan, you know what I mean? Like how gross things are and how gross that industry is and how it's killing our planet. It's killing these trees, the things that give us air. It's taking up all of the land and it's just really screwed up to animals on top of all that. That's why I'm vegan. Like watch the movie Dominion. And uh, if you're worried about the environment, watch Cowspiracy. If you're worried about health, watch What the Health. Um, those are all really cool films that are all about, uh, you know, going vegan or plant-based or whatever. Uh, or, you know, just taking steps. Um, Dominion is not. It's just all about the industry and um, exactly the truth of the situation. And it's it, if you watch that one, it's free. Um, that's the one that I'd recommend before any other movie to watch. If you're thinking about veganism, go to www.dominionmovement.com. And uh, it's a hard movie to watch. I've already said this on another video. so but It's industry practice, man, all around the world. And it's just, anyway, here I am rattling on again when I'm supposed to be riding my butt home. I wasn't supposed to be gone more than a minute. I've been already gone for like a half an hour. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I love you guys. I love you with the love of the Lord. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless. Uh, hey, here's uh, one other thing that I promised I would kind of show over here. It's the Manzano Royal Guard C70 Chevrolet band truck. And uh, pretty unfortunate that somebody decided to vandalize it. It's part of their. I'm gonna go back here and get the long shot. Look at that beautiful face. Oh, 
still beautiful even despite all the stuff that's happened it's just a really nice truck I've got this up on my uh, Instagram I think if you want to follow me on Instagram it's uh it's like lucky JCDC on Instagram and I just got a lot of photos on there some of them new not too many new ones mostly old ones so but uh yeah look at that beautiful truck that thing is minty really it's been sitting here for many years uh, but you can take a look inside if I don't get too much in trouble for climbing up on this thing alarm is going to go off Here's inside the cabin. It looks a lot like a like a regular, you know, standard size Chevy truck in there. It's got the the door panels. I don't know if something lives under the seat here. This window is just fully open. Anyway, this is a bad truck. This would be so fun to drive down the road. I just always thought that it would be cool to like take one of these and take the, the box off and put like a regular bed on it, you know? I think a lot of people probably do that, but I know I'm not the first person to think of that. But then again, there's something about having that big ass box like that. So you just have a truck like that to move people around or put like a, an apartment back there that nobody knows about. Put a fake business name on there. Park it wherever the heck. Park it at the Walmart. Park it behind the furniture store. Nobody, nobody will know. A couple roll up. Oh, there's a truck back here. Just put some blanket thing on there, like furniture. You know, and change it every time you go somewhere. <laughs> Make up different signs. Warehouse. I, know, I just think it's a great old truck, but. take another shot from the back here real fast just to show oh it's got a padlock on it they probably use it for storage it's got one of those uh tommy gate kind of thing going on look at this little area here i've never been in this before this is something else it's like something you see in a movie it's like that part on maximum overdrive or like the there was a, they're down there waiting and the truck stop is over there and all those diesels are driving around the can you imagine it look here's the truck dun 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 dun, dun. for those about to rock we got to crawl through that sewer to get to the truck stop so we can meet emilio estevez over there <laughs> If you've never seen that movie, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And if you've never seen it, though, I recommend that you do. If you have seen it, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is like a cool little area. What the heck is going on over there? I don't know. If I was, like, homeless, I'd probably, like, find places like these in camp. You know what I mean? Where nobody would even know that you're there. I know people do that because I've seen the camps and stuff. I'm not taken away from how hard that life must be. I'm just saying if it was just me or whatever, I wasn't responsible for anybody and didn't have anybody else in my life to take care of, then I would do stuff a lot different, you know? Probably just drop out of the society, you know? There I am on camera over there. You gotta be consciously, constantly aware of that stuff. So you know, I didn't open this gate. All right, I'm signing off for the last time uh, today, anyway. Till the next time, peace.